and boom. <laughs> this to me is magical. Hello, 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 courageous creatives. So today I'm starting a series that I've planned in my head for many, many years actually. And it's about um, little tools, action scripts, plugins or scripts or even extension as today that um, work within the Illustrator application all within Photoshop and they make certain workflows a lot easier, especially if they're repetitive and yeah, there is usually a story behind these scripts and somebody that was doing a certain task over and over again thought, you know what, there should be a tool for this and I'm going to just create it myself. Like I am not sure at all how these amazing people are doing this. I don't know how to script, but um, there's people that are willing to share this for free. So I thought, why not kind of plug their plugins and... Um, show them to you guys. So right now I'm finishing up a blog post on Adobe Max, which is a yearly conference brought on by Adobe, pretty much um, showcasing what's new and innovative within their tools, um, obviously Photoshop and Illustrator, and then they do all the other ones. Um, look on the website, Adobe Premiere, InDesign, Acrobat, there is so many tools that they constantly update and they are now coining this the creativity conference i've been going for many many years and i always wanted to talk about it so i'm finally getting around doing it and i was going through all of these pictures and i just want to share so many impressions that i had there so for example here these two super cool designers were so willing and open to share their processes and um, sharing what the inspiration is. And these are blurry pictures because this was probably a conference several years back and these were in a dark room cell phone pictures. I just wanted to make all of these pictures look consistent across my blog without having to do everything manually. I'll show you here, for example. Here's another panel. My blog, my images on my blog are always 500 pixels wide. And then the length doesn't really matter. So here, one of the things I love at Adobe Max too is that they have a huge vendor hall. And usually companies that sell any type of design software or tools, like this is an iPad app called, what was it called? 53 Paper? And they came up back then with the actual digital pencil that worked on the iPad. And I didn't know before I went to this event that back then, I'm saying back then because I don't know if the service still exists, you could actually get a physical copy of your sketches printed. I was amazed by the pricing back then because um, I believe no matter, I don't want to say no matter, but the whole book in color was $25. And that's a really great way to showcase maybe collections within a portfolio for textile designers or even maybe line sheets or lookbooks or something like that. I don't know if they still do it, but back to this tool, I am quickly able to use what's called the Titch Panel and arrange things photos <laughs> in my 500 pixels width and you can do this at any width that's actually an option you can specify i'm going to do another video on this but i'm just going to stick with this example for this video so let me just go ahead and show you what i could do so i have here i was really trying to show how good the food is there and that i'm always eating when i'm at adobe max so I already prepped some of these photos here. So what I need to do is start with one picture, if that's what I want. I already have these optimized for web, so the colors reduce and it's really small and, fall si uh, and file size, file size, file size. 
If I was to run the script right now, I would actually get an error message because it's an index file. So I'm just going to select all command A or command or control A and copy command C, command control C and then command V to paste this actually command N first to create a new document because I need this to be a regular RGB file. So now that this is a file where we can actually have layers because the index won't allow for layers, the script will work on this. And if you don't know what an index is, it's even better because then you won't run into this mistake. Now, I already have now this with specified and here is the magic. I can now tell the script, hey, let's add some images to the bottom and then I can just click with control or command on multiple images that I want to add. So let's say I want to add these three images and I can just say open and I can actually arrange these. So let's say I want this in the middle and then I'd say, okay. And then it just does it for me. Look, hands up. I'm not doing anything. I'm just going to let Photoshop work for me. And those are a lot of steps and resizing. So we have copy paste, make it into a smart object, free transform and boom. <laughs> this to me is magical. All right. And that, this doesn't even end here. Let's just keep arranging things on the bottom with different. So if I just wanted to put this one on the bottom and let's do this one. I think it'll be a better example. Hands off. There's a problem with the generator. Please quit Photoshop and try again. Nope. Don't want to. Um, this is actually good enough. So here I actually have a couple of steps for exporting and saving this just in case I do have to actually quit uh, Photoshop at this point. I'm just gonna uh, let this run for a second. And then that version is already saved just in case. Okay. And that's what Titch Panel does without me having to copy paste and scale and this beautiful even border all the way around. Oh my God, try to do this manually and see how long it would take. I think I told the script not to save my PSD files. So not the script, my action. So I'm doing two different things. I'm using a extension here. So an extension, if you've never seen it, you grab them from window extension. And this one here is a extension I downloaded from the internet. I will put the link below the video so you guys can grab that and do try to grab it from the actual um, links that I'm also going to show you guys in a minute. Actually, let me show it to you guys right now. So the creator of this plugin is somebody that's in photography and I can't believe they're giving this away for free. I would have paid a couple of, I don't know, under a hundred dollars or something to keep it forever. And they're on the website have a lot of different examples, how in photography, obviously it would lend itself to use it over and over again to show your art. And you can even define different borders. So I'll do another example in another video and link obviously back to this video for people that don't know what the story with this is, but the official link and the instructions on how to install it onto your computer go from GitHub. So I already opened that over here and then you can see right here that you can download this and then there's the description and the download and install. So you have to really follow this so that it works, but it's pretty simple. Just step by step, take a big breath and do it. And my options are now 550. Now let's see here. Um, hmm. Background color, I actually like white, but you can see here, that's an option that you could do. And then output save generated images, not yet. I'll do that manually. Nope, don't want to run any actions afterwards. 
convert to smart objects. Let me take that out because I don't really do I want to. Um, I guess that allows me to go in there and edit each photo if it needs to. Usually edit them before. Oh, also interesting. Um, the corner radius. So we saw here on the website how um, this nice example had a corner radius. So it actually allows you to specify if you want it to be rounded just on the top left, top right, top bottom, oh, top bottom, <laughs> bottom right, bottom left, or maybe um, on diagonals or just one. So let's, for my example, let's see if there's one coming up in terms of what I am trying to explain to you guys right now. Here, let's do this. Let's do exactly this layout. How about that? So. Okay, now it's slowly giving me sort of what I want, but there seems to be a placeholder for the image that didn't come in before. Um, and then I wanted three on the right, so I'm just gonna pick this yucky thing right here, which is we actually um, had a creative. Um, exchange with a bunch of people where we had to with strangers draw on the same drawing and everybody um, was rotating at adobe max the painting so that everybody had to um draw on somebody else's drawing <laughs> these monsters that were created were so much fun um, and there was prompts given as to what we were supposed to kind of um you know draw but we could to we could use whatever medium it's like i always say it's like summer camp for creatives going to adobe max so well let's see if it works i'll put the link to my blog post yay on Adobe Max, so you guys can see that. It worked! So it did um, the opposite of what I had in my head, because I probably clicked the right button for it to do what it just did here, but not really <laughs> what I wanted it to do. So that's how you customize your options. I don't want this rounded edge, so I would leave this as zero, and then I would have to do this over again for these pictures. I'm hoping that you guys like this. Give me a thumbs up for the video, subscribe, give me some comments. If you want to know how to install things because the instructions are not clear, let me know. I'll do a video on that. It'll be PC based because that's what I'm using these days. And then also, yeah, subscribe, like, hit the bell so that you get notifications and let me know if there's anything else that you want to learn or if you heard about scripts and plugins and you want to know the difference and what exactly would you like to know. And also on my blog in the vault, there is a entire PDF to convince your boss. If you want to go to Adobe Max, a lot of companies actually pay for the employees to go and you can maybe say, hey, you should send me here so I can pick up these skills. It would tremendously benefit our company if I was like a magician in these programs. So I hope this was helpful. If you picked up something, leave me a comment and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye-bye.